Gentlemen, welcome back to the mess, which is my desk. And on my desk, we have something very special. And this is my new Wing Wing Z84. Isn't she a beauty? Now this little Wing Wing, I'm gonna claim as it's gonna be potentially the fastest Wing Wing Z84 on the planet once we get it to fly. So let's have a quick look to see what I've been and done with this build. Uh, the first thing actually you'll notice is up here on the lid. Can you see that we've got these little tabs here? What I found is that when you're pinching it at the top trying to take the lid off, is that you then end up crushing the foam there. So instead what I've been and done is just wrapped a bit of that glass reinforced tape up underneath like so, which makes these tabs, which then makes getting this lid off so, so much easier because that little clip is really, really strong. Also, you notice some little magnets on the tops and also down at the bottom too. Again, I'm after a bit of extra nose weight, but this just makes it really clamped down, which is what you want on a really high speed model. If we go into the powerhouse, what we've been and got, where's my marker pen? Oh, don't have a marker pen, but I do have a ruler. We have the NTM prop drive 2700 kV motor. That is gonna be combined with a 5550 gem fan bull nose propeller which uh, according to my bench test results which I can see on the other screen gives 1.2 or say 1204 grams of thrust at 62 amps which I need to go a little bit careful with because that motor is only rated to 50 amps so we're only going to be able to give her about 10 to 12 seconds of full throttle before I need to start getting wary. But with that said, that's on a 3S setup. So I've got a 1.8 battery. I did try putting a 2.2 in there. We just don't have the height at the nose. So if I turn that around like so, uh, any bigger battery in there, then we just can't get the lid down sanely. Also, the 4S setup. So I've got a Nanotech 1.6 amp uh, 4S battery is the, that on a 4S battery, well that motor on a 4S battery will provide, get ready for this, 1,358 grams of thrust uh, at 58.4 amps. So I've got one of these little bench test thingies. You, if you look on my YouTube channel, uh, you'll see me blowing up a motor on there. Uh, so I've learned the hard way what you're supposed to be looking at the amps and not the thrust. Um, but uh, point in hand, I'm gonna take her out for a run uh, with a 3S setup first and just get it dialed in and make sure she's stable and the CFG's right and everything's performing well before I go on and change the propeller over to the Gemfan 5045 ball nose uh, and changing the battery to the 4S. Also, you're going to stay in with the electronics. I've got a Hobby King Blue Brick uh, 60 amp speed controller. I do have a 100 amp speed controller, but it just won't fit underneath the main carbon support rod, and I better not cut that out, considering what we're gonna be doing with it. I will be going for one of the little ditty, which isn't in here, uh, one of the small VAR2 uh, receivers. Um, not necessarily for weight, but just for size, because you can see things are starting to get a little bit busy in here now, and even to the best of my abilities, I just can't get the CFG to work out right now. So I am gonna have to add some lead to the nose. And to be honest, I will probably fit that up underneath the actual hood itself. Uh, I didn't elect to put the big stickers on the wing wing. And that's just because what as I learned from my other wing wing is the stickers start coming uh, loose on the wing tips. Uh, if we have a look at the underside, I've, I'm using my favorite Tower Pro uh, Metal Gear servos. Uh, they were centered before I put them in, and oh, I need to put that on my to-do list, which is washers. Um, so I do have a little list, which I'll run down my list of things which I need to do. Um, so I've got my Metal Gear servos up here. Uh, I will be blenderming the Elevons as well. I've, I haven't done it myself, and on my last one, because I did blend them, the Elevons, I never had an issue, but I've seen people with issues with the Elevons coming off, and the last thing which I want to happen is for that to, to go on in a, a full speed run. 
Also, uh, I'm using large servo horns on the top uh, for the control horns, and they have been super glued in there as well. And on the top side, I've super glued extra super glue in there as well, and I will put some reinforcement tape on them too. On the underside, you'll see that I've been put a pair of carbon fiber rods just across the join, and also I'll put a pair of shorter rods just across here as well, just to give her a little bit of strength. Now, to be honest, I probably don't need to do that, but I am a little bit paranoid, and I ultimately, I do have lots of thin carbon fiber rod available to me, so I, I feel it'd be sensible for me to do that. Also along the bottom, I've put a large strip of glass reinforced tape, so she skids nice and lovely uh, on the ground, uh, and I don't end up ruining the good complexion on the foam. Also, I've been to put Blenderm across underneath as well, so again, just to, to cut down on wind resistance. And with that said, let me just quickly run through my to-do list uh, of thingies to do on the Wing Wing Z84. So, a list is always super important because then you know that you've done everything which you can think of before you take her out for the maiden flight because I would hate for me to put so much time, effort, and, and money into a model and then go and stove her for something daft like I didn't check the elevons or uh, it's cable tie but then one of the leads and they got chewed up by the motor at the back, you know? So the first thing which I need to do is balance the prope propeller. I do need to resolder the uh, speed controller so I have a shorter link. Again, I'm just trying to keep the weight down in the actual model itself. Uh, I will be cable tying down the leads once I've been and done the soldering. I do need to create a new model in my Tyrannus handset. Now, I will be setting her up with a uh, low rate. So in the low rates, I'll be going for just one centimeter of movement uh, in both directions with about 40 expo, something like that. Then I'll have mid rates and then I'll have high rates, which I'll probably never use because this model will just be going too fast. And if you see my Tech Sumo videos, then you'll know that high rates to mean basically mean, sorry, High rates to me basically means big, great big air brakes on the back. Uh, oh, the other thing which I'll be setting up in the Tyrannus uh, is a motor cutoff switch. So the left hand switch, when you've got the transmitter in your hand, the back left hand switch, I have that as a kill switch. So when it's backwards, it overrides channel one on the receiver and sets it to minus 100. And of course, when I click the switch forwards, then it enables the uh, motor and the speed controller. Okay, just a little safety tip for you. I will. I need to blend in the elevons. I do need to make extra special care for the C of G test. Now, the thing which I found with the wing wings, they do need to be a little bit nose heavy. So if you balance her up, we're using the little lugs underneath the plane, uh, it does need to be a tad nose heavy and it is really sensitive to the C of G, especially if you've got a tail heavy it will it, it, just drop the nose at, no, at any point in time. So you do need to run these uh, nose heavy. Uh, I will be putting some tape along the leading edge. Again, that's not just for aerodynamics, that's just to try and keep her pretty for longer. I will check the current usage again, just to confirm the results which I've got in my spreadsheet. Uh, then I need to do a range check as well. So uh, that would be take 30 paces and then shoot the plane, anyway. I will also need to spray paint some black lines on the bottom of the wing as well. So I need to run out to B&Q and go and get some um, black gloss spray paint, uh, obviously acrylic based. Uh, and I will be putting black bars down either side of the wings so that I can know the orientation of it, especially if I take her up super high to go and do that massive great big speed run. Oh, and the other thing which I need to do, and that's it for my to-do list. So this is potentially the world's fastest Wing Wing Z84. I won't know until we take her out in the field what she's gonna perform like, but I know the last motor which I had in uh, Wing Wing, which was a Turner G D2826 2200 kV was six by four prop. That was ridiculously fast. I've seen, also seen a chap on u -Balls which had this running with a 4S battery, and that was ridiculously fast. So I've got a bigger motor, I've got a bigger battery, and an appropriately sized propeller, which I've already been and done the thrust test data on. So this thing, 
it's got to be easily plus 100 miles an hour. But you're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to have to wait and see how fast this thing really is in the sky. And the good news is we're on Wednesday today. We actually get a break in the weather on Friday. It's supposed to be a fantastic day. Not too much wind. Uh, some nice cloud up in the sky as well. So I'm looking to take her out this Friday for a maiden. And like I said, I'll try the free S setup first. Before I go any further, um, but definitely before I consider swapping the propeller over and putting a 4S battery in it. So that's my latest update. Uh, the Wing Wing Z84. This thing is going to be absolutely mental. So with that said, for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for watching this video. Uh, as always, any comments, good, bad, or plain ugly, please let me know. You can do that in the comments section underneath this video. And with that said, from myself, Matt, cheerios!